What's up guys? So for today's top five, I wanted to address a common misconception, namely that real gamers aren't into sports games. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's, that's way off, kinda. I mean, there are a few actual sports games that I enjoy, but there are plenty of sports games that I really uh, enjoy a lot. So with that, I present you my top five favorite sports games. And yes, I realize I've used air quotes twice now. I'll stop. Five. At number five is a game that is near and dear to all of our hearts. I'm talking, of course, about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Probably the best one in the franchise, Tony Hawk 2 allowed us to pull off ridiculous tricks that nobody could ever do in real life, all while somehow managing to not smash every bone in our bodies. Not to mention the soundtracks in early Tony Hawk games were pretty much the best in video game history. Four. Now, I'm no big fan of football games, but no matter if you're a sports fan or not, pretty much everyone can appreciate my number four choice, NFL Blitz. While it was sort of a football game, NFL Blitz was more of an unsportsmanlike conduct simulator. There were almost no rules as far as the game was concerned, and after the play, there was no penalty for drop kicking or stomping on your opponents. I approve. Three. What NFL Blitz was to football, NBA Jam was to basketball, and there's probably never been a better arcade sports game in history. The gameplay was super fast and fun, and unlike real basketball, you didn't get a penalty for lightly brushing your opponent's shoulder, which I appreciate as well, and, you know, sneezing or whatever else they get penalties for in actual NBA basketball. Seriously, NBA, implement NBA Jam rules into your game, and maybe more people will watch. And if someone scores three in a row without the other team scoring, then you should, like, totally light the hoop on fire or give them trampoline shoes or something. While NFL Blitz had no rules about dropkicking your opponents, this next game had no rules about blowing your enemies apart with landmines. I'm talking, of course, about Mutant League Football. Mutant League Football was amazing for allowing you to dismember your opponents, and there was even a possibility that you could win a game by completely killing off the opposing team. You also had the option at key points in the game to bribe the ref, allowing you to pull off obscenely dirty plays with no consequences. It was essentially like the XFL, except they allowed the players to kill each other, and you know, if they were also strange orc people instead of actual humans. One. The final game on my list, my number one favorite fake sports game is Dead Ball Zone. Dead Ball Zone was an original game for the PlayStation and it was a whole lot of fun. As far as the sport was concerned, it was essentially a fast paced game of handball, but you could shoot your opponents with guns, chainsaw them in half, or blow them up with grenades. If you run out of weapons, you could always choose to do something more tame like pile drive them into the ground. It mixed fast frenetic gameplay with murder and sports. What's not to like? Well, there you have it, guys. My top five favorite fake sports games. As always, be sure to tweet me at SoHinky or comment below and tell me what I left out. I'll see you guys next time.